Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, hope you're doing really well. It's Friday today, happy Friday, I hope you're excited for the weekend. Um, I was going to say I hope you've got lots of plans for this weekend, but um, yeah. Um, but then we can meet one person outside and drink a coffee at the same time, so we can socialise a little bit, so that's good. Hope you're all okay, I'm going to be spending the weekend building some IKEA furniture and tidying and cleaning so that's exciting um but today i wanted to show you what i got in this month's birch box i really like the box this month i think it's really cool this is in collaboration with frida i don't know much about frida except i follow an instagram page called frida okay so it says in the booklet that inspired by frida this month and in honor of international women's day some of the products in your March Birch box are from woman-founded brands. Okay. I would have liked if all of the products were from woman-founded brands, but okay. Um, throughout the month, we'll be featuring woman-founded brands and celebrating powerful women all over our social media. Nice. So I follow Frida on Instagram, um, and they just share all sorts, really. They, they talk a lot about feminism and equality and they share like positive things like you know love yourself and all that but then they also like talk about some issues and like raise issues with things and all sorts of stuff so they're quite a good little account to follow but yes the box i think is really cool there's some cool stuff on there there's um like two hands like doing a pinky promise there's i appreciate my body uh perfection doesn't exist love me um i make my own rules there's a woman there with hairy armpits um a peach bum with stretch marks on it M no body shaming there's a thing there with some boobies so it's all going on what i would like though is if um these were actually real stickers because some of these i would put on my laptop but they're not real stickers so that's a shame, it's just the box. But still, it's a really cool box, so I'm definitely gonna keep this box. Let's have a look at what's inside. I did have a sneak little peek yesterday, um, and I'm excited for this month's box. In the leaflet as well, they've actually got a um, little like badge thing above each thing, so you know whether it's from a fem female-founded brand or not. So, Ciate London is a female-founded brand. Um, this is their glow to highlighter in the shade i think it's moon dust let me check yeah in moon dust comes in this little like reflective packaging um this is the thing we got to pick so we got to pick between two shades they were both like quite light shades um i can't really remember the difference of them i i wasn't really that bothered um with which one i had but let's open it anyway gosh this is hard to open there we go um i like the packaging it's like a pale pink really pale pink i like that and let's open it up that is moon dust i love highlight i love highlight there it is on my hand so you can really see it and when i'm like that against the light you can see it is like glowing on my hand though it doesn't look super glowy i mean it does when the light's shining on it but to me this looks more like a pinky blush with a bit of shimmer in it you know um so i am interested to see what i think of it obviously when i've put it on with my highlight brush up there what it's like whether it's just like a blusher I'm tempted to just go like this. I don't know if that's gonna do anything. <sighs> I don't know. Luckily I'm not going anywhere, so if it goes wrong, it, it goes wrong. Hmm. So a full size R piece for £26. Um radiance lip from within radiance. Vegan friendly pearlescent oyster toned powder. I think that sums up really it's pearlescent, it's not like pow i see yeah um formulated with patented spherical pigments to give a weightless long wear finish for the ultimate shimmer that lasts la 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 la, la. 
layer from for an intense shimmer effect okay so maybe i'll need to layer it a bit more we will see i haven't obviously tried it out properly on my face yet so we will see the next thing is from balance me now balance me are a brand i'm like hmm about i had never found anything i loved from them until they like changed all the packaging and i got one of their vitamin c serums and i loved it so much this is something that excites me it's a bha exfoliating concentrate there is 30 ml in here um it says it's an it's a salicylic acid rich concentrate um to help gently remove dead skin cells reduce blemishes target enlarged pores and improve hydration to reveal a softer brighter more youthful looking complexion so this is 30 ml balance me apparently is a female founded brand cool a full size of this uh which is 180 ml is 26 pounds um this is a fast acting leave-on chemical exfoliant works on the upper layers of the skin to remove dead skin cells fight blackheads blemishes and enlarge pores and improve hydra hydra hydration i think it said hydrangeas then i don't know why what's more the calming blend of ingredients does all of this without causing irritation okay after cleansing apply over your face no need to rinse follow with the rest of your skincare routine making sure to use spf so i use bhas in my skincare routine anyway at the moment i've really toned down on um any kind of acids and stuff that i use on my face i probably use bhas and ahas each once a week at the moment maybe twice a week at a push um but um i was i was going through a phase where i was using it way too much and i was using them like twice a day um which really helped my skin at first but then i needed to just slow down um so yeah but i'm excited to try this because i love salicylic acid um it's a shame that there isn't a full ingredients list on here but okay um but yeah i think the salicylic acid really helps with my spots so i'm excited to try that i want to open it oh it smells nice <laughs> it smells fruity um but yeah i tip put this i would put this on a cotton pad and wipe it all over my face um if you have never used bhas before or even if you do like don't if you're getting this now i would say use it once and then give yourself a few days of not using any kind of acids and see how your skin has reacted to it don't just go straight in using it like every single night you know so yeah but i'm excited about that that is a cool product if it works so that's cool i like that the third item is by magnetone that's a brand we've seen quite a bit with birchbox these are their wipeout swipes eco-friendly microfiber makeup removal pads this is a two-pack which is good because sometimes we just get like one of things don't we oh these are soft <laughs> there's a little card in here any discounts no just their website and then two little cotton pads reusable ones one's got pink zigzags and one's got gray zigzags i love stuff like this now these are makeup removing ones and so these are the ones you put under water and then you m m take your makeup off i'm gonna be honest i don't like the feel of these kind of products on my face i don't mind it on my face but on my eyes removing my eye makeup i really don't like it so i like to use these with makeup remover or I just use these to put my acids on my face or put some toner on my face or something like that so i am definitely going to keep these and use them i'm not going to use them to remove my makeup though um i know that they work i've used macintone products before um i know that they work on my face the the bigger ones that we have that are like flannel size um i use them with my cleanser like i basically use them as a muslin cloth um but yeah, I think that's really cool. So I would use these actually with the BHA stuff. But these are a cool product. Like they're just perfect for your eyes. If you were just using them to take your makeup off. Lovely. Very good. Cool. Um, a full size of these. A big box. RPs for £15. In the picture, there's six in the big box. I don't know if that's the case with £15 ones. But um, yeah, so that's cool. What does it say here? It says replace wasteful cotton pads for good with these eco-friendly reusable microfiber cleansing pads. They remove the toughest makeup with just warm water. 
The microfibers swell when getting wet, grabbing hold of makeup particles and holding them in the pad. Super soft and perfect for use on sensitive skin, eyes and lips. Swipe away your makeup with no cleanser needed. Simply wash in your normal washing load and reuse thousands of times. No more disposable cotton pads going into landfill. Lovely. I am kind of tempted to maybe test them at removing my makeup by themselves, but I mean, I know they work, so I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's cool. I like them. The next thing is by Percy and Reed, which again is another brand that is big with Birchbox and is not female founded and neither is Magnetone, apparently. Um, we have here 30 ml of I Need a Hero Wonder Balm, which is a hair primer. 75 ml are a piece for 19 pounds. This multitasking miracle leave-in hair primer smooths each hair strand for beautiful alignment, easing and speeding up the styling process, giving you greater control and better longer lasting results. Perfect. A hair primer for use before styling suitable for all hair types. Apply a small amount to towel dried hair, working from roots to ends to prep hair for styling. From roots? Oh, would I put this in my roots? My hair gets, products can make my hair look really greasy. So, oh, okay. Um, what does it say? Uh, gives you better results that last longer. Um, smooths each strand, which gives you moisture, enhanced shine, smoothness, root boost, definition, softness, light hold, humidity protection, and manageability. Okay. Interesting. Now it says to put it in towel dried hair. So instantly it's not going to be, it's not going to really work for me because I don't style my hair from washing it. I wash it at night and let it air dry and then I style it in the morning. So... I don't know if I'm going to use this or if I'm going to put it in my giveaway because I don't think I'd use it. We do get quite a bit, quite a few hair products in Birchbox and a lot of them I say I'll try and I'll try them once and I never use them again. Um, so I think actually I'm just going to put this in my giveaway because I just don't, I won't use it. So yeah, okay. And then the last thing is by... I say Butanic Beauty or Botanic Beauty, I don't know. Um, these are Gold Angel Revitalising Eye Gels. Nice. Um, it says RRP £6. I don't know if that's for two. Because it doesn't say full size on it. But it does say that it's a female founded company. Um, so these are little eye gels that go under your eye. I love stuff like this. Ideal for tired and overworked eyes that have seen too many late nights. That is me at the moment. I can't seem to sleep before at least 2 a.m. Like my bedtime at the moment is like 2, 3 a.m. It's really bad. I'm so tired, but then I can't sleep. <sighs> um, what do I do? I brighten, hydrate and depuff. Lovely. It's got cucumber, rose extract, green tea and hyaluronic acid in. And you keep them on for five minutes or longer if you desired. Cool. I love stuff like this. I'm excited to try them. From the picture, they look like they're gold as well, which is very cool. Can you see that? There we go. Um, do you often wake up with puffy peepers even after a good night's sleep? I'll be honest, under my eyes never really get puffy, but I mean, that still could happen at some point, couldn't it? Um, but they get dark. Um... Meet your guardian angel, hydrating green tea and hyaluronic acid infused eye patches brighten even the tiredest of eyes. Cucumber to hydrate, rose extract to reduce puffiness, their unique shape fits under any eye area. Targeting fine lines too. Botanic or Butanic Beauty is a female founded vegan friendly skincare brand that makes uncomplicated natural skincare. Lovely. Now, on the back of the leaflet we would normally have a sneak peek for the next month. That hasn't happened this month. Instead, it says meet the arrow kit. So I think that what Birchbox are doing are, this is like a bag with just arrow products in. This is what it looks like, if you can see. I know that from Birchbox, I have had an arrow lip balm before. That was one of those pH ones. Um, and yeah, it was quite nice. Um, they have there's also been like a white or pinky eyeliner 
which I didn't really use much, but that's all I know from them. I'm gonna be honest, I probably won't get the kit. Yeah, I'm not gonna look out for it or, or I'm not really interested in getting it, but there we go. Um, I prefer a sneak peek. <laughs> but uh, let's just recap what was inside this month's box for me. Um, the under eye gels, which I'm excited about. The little Ciate highlighter, which I'm excited to kind of try out properly. The Magnetone eye reusable cotton pads, very good. The Balance Me BHA liquid exfoliator. Well, I'm excited to see what that's like. And then the Percy and Reed I Need a Hero Wonder Balm Hair Primer, which I'm probably not going to use. So I personally think, to be fair, overall, it's a really good box. Um, and I'm excited for it again, so that's good. Except the hair primer, that can just, yeah. But that is just me, you know? If you get Birchbox, if you've got the same products as me, or if you're someone who has tried any of these products, please let me know what you think of them, because I would love to know. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think of this month's box, whether you think it was worth £12.95 or not. Um, but thank you, and I will see you in a few days in my next video. Bye.